Hello and thank you for joining the Tuesday edition of Journalist Hangout. I'm Ayodili Uzubakun. Today on the program, Senate confirmed 45 ministerial nominees as early five two others are with security clearance. I'll be hanging out with Babajide Kolade Otitoju and Bojit Jamiu. So if you're ready, let the hangout start now. Thank you for staying with us. The whole world is practically on edge over the coup in the Republic of Nigeria as the deadline for the coup leaders to restore democratic rule in the country has demanded by ECOWAS ended on Sunday. The Nigeria Immigration Service, the Department of State Services, DSS, and the military have been put on red alerts. Security on the Nigerian borders with Nigeria has been intensified as immigration officials, DSS personnel, and men of the Nigerian Customs Service have been mandated to stop Nigerian citizens from crossing over to Nigerian citizens from crossing over to Nigeria. Beg your pardon? Through official and unofficial borders. Speaking on the developments, the immigration controller in charge of Special Border Command, Mustafa Sani, said Nigerians should stay at home and not attempt to go to the Nigerian Republic until the embargo is lifted. Jide, apparently from what I'm saying, war is brewing between the ECOWAS and the um, Nigerian Republic. Well, um, sometimes it's difficult to predict what politicians might do. But it's difficult for me to see a war happening. Between, with this between, um, between alert, the, alert, it's, it's, all over on both sides. Ayo. No fly zone. We will not go to war against Ayo. We will not go to war against Nigeria. I'm extremely confident about that. I pray, I pray. Because, I pray, because, I pray. because, I pray against it too. Because if we try it, we will regret it. War is not fought by soldiers alone. If you simply look at the capabilities of both countries, um, fighting a war between Nigeria and the, going to war between Nigeria and the Nigerian Republic in terms of the capabilities of both teams, I mean both countries, is like a um, ladder going into a car race with a Ferrari. <laughs> the, the outcome will be extremely predictable. You can't have a situation in which in a Formula One contest, Lada will go and be contesting against uh, mm -hmm. Ferrari. It will be a totally one-sided affair. But you have to, when you are talking about war, you have to consider so many things. Putin arrogantly went to war against Ukraine. He thought it would be just one or two, over. One or two weeks, and the, the president will start begging, oh, um, forgive us, this and that. They were even talking about regime change. They thought, oh, Shevi is a comedian that is the president of Ukraine. You, you and I know better now. Since March, he has not been able to deal a decisive punch to um, Ukraine. And Ukraine now has some capabilities that the world did not expect them to have. At this time, they can take the war into uh, Russia, uh, uh, mainland, if they want. Right now. And they can bring down planes if they want. And we won't tank warfare. They've dead, they've destroyed a lot of tanks of the Russians. And the Russians have paid with many lives. People who hate America, who hate the West, they will not admit it. They will say, oh, he has come again. Let them go to the place where the war is taking place and try to get information. War is not something that you simply go into and expect that, oh, one plus one equals two. No, no, we have extensive border with Niger stretching up to 1,608 kilometers, beginning in the northwest, Kebi in the northwest, right up to uh, Yobe in the northeast. 
in uh, in Bono, you see uh, we have border with them in Damasak area. We have border with them in uh, Abadam local government, Malamfatori. And our soldiers even the things that they need, it is in uh, in um, uh, Boso that they go to get it. I can tell you because I was in Bono State when the currency. Um, repainting happened. <laughs> Many people from Niger Republic were bringing sacks, sacks of Naira notes into our own Naira. Yes. Ask anybody who is, who, who, who is resident in Borno State and knows a few things about what goes on in, in, in that place. They were bringing sacks, Naira notes. Nigerians coming to change. change. My own banks. Yes. We have cultural affinity, deep, deep cultural. When you see, uh, when they talk about Shua, these the Shua people, you know some of them are in um, Niger, some are in Chad. It's like brothers going to war. It's not going to happen now. People, you see, when the government comes in, there are mistakes that will be made. Because sometimes some people around you, you think, oh, they know so much. But they cause you to take some actions, and then you retreat. There is no new government that will not make some mistakes at the beginning. Nigeria has the clout to get Niger to do its bidding without even a resort to war. Because Niger is almost entirely dependent on Nigeria. Look at it this way. They have only seven, seven states. The south of their country is where up to 80% of their people reside. And that is the Nigerian side. That's where those borders with those six, uh, six states are. Even the seven states, uh, I always don't talk about Zamfara, but in the Zulme, Zulme area, they are very close to Niger. They are brothers across the border. Even President Buhari says that his, his, his cousins are in Niger. Mm. I've been to President Buhari's uh, hometown before. You look at Meadwa from uh, Daura to Meadwa is, is a spitting distance. When you get to Meadwa, you just you just cross. There is no recognizable boundary. So, how do we go to war? And it's already causing panic. Government has a duty now to even bring down the panic because our people have been made to believe that oh, there will be war. It's causing panic and a real problem in some of those northern states. And within ECOWAS, within ECOWAS, a lot of people would look up to Nigeria, you know, as the biggest country, and the present chair is from Nigeria for direction. So Nigeria will determine fifty percent or sixty percent if they are to go to war. Even if other other countries are saying let's go to war, let's go for war, it is Nigeria that will have the like the veto power to say, look. We can do this or we can't we can do it. But from the body language of the federal government, we wait till Thursday with the last minute, but it's not looking as if they are going to back <clears> them. <throat> Nothing will happen. Rather, just like they said, we'll see more sanctions coming in. And um, you see, Ayo, if you if you want to, as, as you are now, you want to have a quarrel with him, a, a six-year-old primary, or rather a, a, an eight-year-old primary two pupil, and he's saying, yes, I'm going to fight you. I mean, he knows that even with your physique alone, he can't, but looking very well, you will know that this guy must have something for him to say. In fact, he's the, he's the, he's the one, that eight-year-old is the one that is telling me, no, I want to fight. He's the he, war monger. He's the war monger. He said, now I want to fight Uncle Ayo. I mean, you will not be, one, I you will not be wondering. He will even tell you that. I don't think your size is Yes. A it, yes. So, when you see things like that, we need, to calm, we need to calm down. Mm. It's like uh, this Yoruba that says, Adete uh, Ule I mean, the, 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 the leper cannot um, milk the milk cow. The cow. But the moment he puts the, his hand in the one you have already milked, it's gone. You, nobody can take it. So, we need a lot of diplomacy. Uh, yes, 
after World War, we still come and judge all. The war in Ukraine, uh, between Ukraine and Russia, is an example. Everybody thought, in fact, Putin was saying the thing will be over within a week. But we've been, we've been in, in, they have been at this war since last year, 2022. March. March 2022. Almost 18 months now. So, we need to exercise a lot of caution. And for once, I love the letter uh, Chief Body Judge wrote to uh, President Bola Metunumbu. Very sincere, very straight, and I mean, very apt. Said, no, we cannot afford to go to war. We have five states that borders uh, uh, six. Nige. Sorry, six states that border, uh, that borders uh, uh, Nige. Uh, Kebi, Yobi, uh, Borno, Katsina, Sokoto, Sanfala, Sokoto. Sokoto, Jiga. So, between, like Jide said, between Daura and Nige. You, it's like crossing from Songo water to uh, Lagos to, uh, to Alakuko, coming in from Songo water to Alakuko. For those who understand that terrain, no borders. No, rather, if I, when, when you see some of the uh, pictures of uh, Nigerian borders on the internet, you just see it's like, it's like in the middle of a town. So we need to be very careful. Now, yes, Nigeria has. Um, Closed, I mean, uh, stopped uh, power supply to Niger. Yeah, we do things that will punish both the government and, uh, as a collateral damage, the citizens to force the, their government. But then the, 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 the worst of a, of a democratic regime is still better than the best military regime. But you see, we are trying to help these Niger, Nigerians. But you can see the people clapping for the the character who is uh, their, their maximum ruler now. But it's not everybody. They, they can arrange... Uh, yes, it could be... It could, it we could do it here. It could be... Yes, it you could, can arrange it now. It for could be arranged. Clubs. <laughs> Some of them, you give them placard, they even turn it upside down. They don't even know why you are filming so, them. So, we need to be really, really careful because the collateral damage... Will be, these guys don't care. They might just go and drop a bomb in there. Uh, ultimately, these guys... It's all about backing down and reinstalling the um, democratic rule there before. But this, the military guys are so hard a man. I it's think a man. yesterday, as I yesterday or today, they chose a prime minister mm. saying that there's no going back. You see, they've taken that decision. We have to be careful. They're taking that decision. If we are not careful, they will kill that Bazoom. Mm. Yeah, and if you are not dying, they are not minister. Yeah. That is uh, former President uh, Buhari's main concern. That this guy, he feels for his uh, um, life, his life, um, and those of members of his family. What we can do now? These guys have taken over. It's not in all cases that you can use force to restore order in a country. The damage has been done. The more days they stay in power. The the more consolidate. Consolidate. Mm. What we can do now is get the African Union involved. The African Union can take over the uh, diplomatic uh, efforts. Get them to agree to um, uh, a, short, a short transition okay. to civilian rule. Mm. So it's Bazoom that you complain about. Bazoom uh, okay. with Songo, okay. Let's have a short transition. Civilians can, civilians can take over. We should take this um, break. We'll be right back after the summers. <laughs>